Okay, so hello my dear students and welcome to um, another discussion for translation of foreign currency financial statements. So in this video, we shall be having an illustration of what if two years in data. And then we are to compute for the community of translation adjustment in the measurement loss for two years. And also to translate, of course, the income statement in the balance sheet for two years using the current rate method and the temporal method no? in, in translating this foreign currency financial statements. So I'll start with reading the illustration. No? So Trans Corporation owns a subsidiary in Singapore whose statement of supposition um, in Singapore dollars for the last two years follows. So you have here the balance sheet. No, for December 31, 2012 and December 31, 2013. And then we also have the income statement for 2012. And the income statement for 2013. And then the relevant exchange rate for 2012 and for 2013. No. So Trans Corporation formed the subsidiary on January 1, 2012. So it was the Philippine parent who formed the subsidiary on January 1, 2012. So, income of a subsidiary were earned evenly throughout two years, and the subsidiary declared dividends worth 75,000 on September 12, 2012, and none were declared during 2013. Uh, so, we'll start with the current rate method. So, the current rate method must better na compute natin yung translated net income first, and then to compute for the retained earnings and no, translated in Philippine peso. So to translate, no, so we have net income of 1.2 million. That's actually sales of 4 million 750,000. That's cost of goods of 2.6 million. No, we have gross profit of 2 million 150,000. Depreciation of 375,000. Other expenses of 575,000. So we have net income of 1.2 million. No, so um, to translate, the our net income using the average rate using um um we'll use the average rate diba? the average rate for 2012 which is actually 43.75 diba? we have the average for 2012 at 43.75 so all income statement accounts is translated using the um average exchange rate for the year 2012 okay and so we have Net income translated in Philippine peso at 52.5 million. Okay, and then we are to translate now our retained earnings. Our retained earnings we have ending balance of 1,125,000. That's actually their net income na 1.2 million and dividends declared na 75,000. Okay, so we have no retained earnings beginning since the Philippine parent has formed a subsidiary January 1, 2012. So, wala siyang beginning balance kasi um, established yung subsidiary on January 1, 2012. So, it's actually its first year in operations of the subsidiary. Okay. So, our net income translated in Philippine Peso, we have 52.5 million. In our dividends, we have 3 million. Okay, so 3 million dividends natin. Kasi we have dividends of 75,000 and diba, the dividends will be... Uh, translated at the historical rate at the date of declaration that is actually um, 40 no the dividends because it was declared on September 12 2012 so we'll use the historical rate which is 40 so you have 3 million so your retained earnings end that's actually retained earnings beginning plus net income less dividends no translated in peso so you have 49.5 million <clears throat> Next would be to translate our balance sheet, no, our assets and our liabilities. So, as of December 31, 2012, we do have total assets of 8,512,500. That's actually cash and cash equivalents of 450,000, receivables of 1,837,500, inventory of 2.4 million, and property plant equipment of 3,825,000. And um, diba, when we're using current rate method, we'll use the same exchange rate for all the asset accounts. And that is the exchange rate no, at the end of the year. 
So, exchange rate at the end of the year, we have 42.5, no? As of December 31, 2012. That's actually the closing rate, on this, uh, or the current rate on December 31, 2012. We have 42.5. So, we have total assets translated in Philippine Peso of 361,000, 361,781,250. Okay? And you also have our um, accounts payable, no, and our long-term debt, no, um, translated using the current exchange rate of um, 42.5. So we have um, accounts payable of 35 million and long-term debt of 205 million Okay. Yung common stock natin, which is actually 1,735,000, will be translated since there is no data man um, na given na my um, issuances of common stock over the um, over the years. No? So, we'll use the um, historical rate on January 1, 2012, the date the subsidy was formed, which is actually uh, 44, so 44. So, um, your common stock is translated at 75.9 million. Okay. So, we have here our retained earnings, 49.5, the one we computed kanina, starts at 49.5 million. And then, our total liabilities and equity no, should equal to your total assets, di ba? So, ang gawin natin, di ba, is i-balancing figures, cumulative translation adjustment. So, that's actually uh, 361,000, 781,250 less your accounts payable, long-term debt, um, common stock, and retained earnings. Okay. You have 4,275,000. You take note, that's a um credit balance. Ay, debit balance. So, naka-debit balance siya kasi deduction. No? So, uh, you have humility, trust, and adjustment debit of 4,275,000. Okay? So, next, we'll translate na our year 2 balances. No? So, for, for year 2, we do have net income of 337,500. It's actually sales of 4 million, uh, cost of goods of 250, so we have gross profit of 1,150,000, and the same depreciation of 375,000, and other expenses of 437,500. And since the we're using average exchange rate for the year, no, in translating all the income saving accounts, so we have um, average for 2013 amounted to 45. No, yung exchange rate natin. So, you have net income translated in Philippine Peso at 15,187,500. Okay? Then, our retained earnings beginning, diba? Retained earnings beginning natin um, is 49.5 million. So, to, to compute our retained earnings end, we have retained earnings beginning plus net income, diba? Less dividends. Since we don't have dividends in 2013, it's um, actually your teen earnings end. So, we have here, your teen earnings end is 1,462,500 in Singaporean dollar. That's the retained earnings beginning at 1,125,000. And then, your net income of 337,500 uh, in Singaporean dollar. Uh, so, to translate that one into Philippine peso, your teen earnings beginning should be translated no, uh, using the, uh, yung, how much is the ending balance, no? of your retained earnings translated in peso last year. So, shall use that as the beginning balance for the current year. And then net income translated in Philippine peso was 15,187,500. So, you have retained earnings end of 64,687,500 in Philippine peso. Okay? Also, we have um, 8,587,500 Diba? Total assets as of December 31, 2013. And to translate this one in Philippine Peso, all assets shall use the same exchange rate, which is actually the 2013 current exchange rate, which is uh, 
occurred since rate on December 31, 2013 no, of 47.5. No? So, we'll use, of course, the shades rate of when ka mag-prepare na financial statements. So, you have total assets translated in the Philippine peso of 47,960,250. Okay. So, also, your accounts payable and your long-term debt shall be translated using the same shades rate. No? which is uh, the 47.5. So, we have accounts payable of 53,437,500 and then long-term debt of 203,062,500. Of course, your common stock will be translated using the circle rate, which is on January 1, 2012, of 44. We have still 75.9 million for 2013. And in your teen earnings natin, is yung na-complete natin kanina na 64,687,500. So, we have total assets of and equity also of 47,600,250, okay? That will be your um, total liabilities and equity, which is actually equal to your total assets. So, to get the cumulative translation adjustment, diba, you have to um, um, make it as the balancing amount. No? So, you have 47 million and 6,250 as the balance of your accounts payable, your long-term debt, your common stock, and of course your retained earnings. Okay? So you have 10,818,750. So as of December 31, 2013, you have cumulative translation adjustment credit balance of 10,880,750. This is positive. So it's an addition to the equity. So can actually no analyze the ano uh, the the account uh, for the community process adjustment. So for 2012 we have beginning uh ending balance of 4,275,000 um debit. Then you know, we have credit balance of 10 million eight hundred and eighty to seven fifty on 2013. No. So therefore yung change ng credit first adjustment no this actually um 10 10,880,750 plus no plus 10,870,750 plus your plus the to um 4 million so that is actually um ito, fifteen million and eighty seven fifty. So this is ten ten million and eighty seven fifty plus four million two hundred seventy five thousand. Okay. Or we can actually verify that no um uh the ten million eight hundred and eighty thousand seven fifty na balance. So you have exposed net asset possession no, on January 1 of 2,850,000. So how do we get the exposed net asset possession? This is simply the assets less liabilities no? for 2012. So it's actually um, 8,512,500 plus your accounts payable and your long-term debt or simply it's also the sum of your or your it's actually your total shareholders equity you know? that's in of course in a foreign currency or in Singaporean dollars we have common stock of 1725 and retained earnings of 1,125,000 so we have 2850 okay so and we'll translate that using the exchange rate on December 31, 2012. And then, yung adjustment natin in the net position would be the, ano lang, the net income and the dividends. And since we don't have dividends for 2013, so we have net income lang. So, we actually have exposed net asset position. That's actually the sum of your exposed net asset position beginning plus the um, net income. No, It's actually 3 million dollars Actually, it's actually the um total assets total assets less total liabilities and total uh, total liabilities no on december 31 2013
or for the sum of your equity. No, you have common stock and retained earnings. Okay, yeah. So we have here net asset position transit using rate in effect at the date of its transaction of 136 million is actually your exposed net asset position by gaining in pesos and your net income in peso. And your exposed net asset position on December 31, 2013 shall be translated using the exchange rate for December 31, 2013 of 47.5. So we have exposed that as a possession of 151,046,250. So my increase, so take on the increase, shall by 15,103,750. So this actually again that will present near other comprehensive income. No? So Para kita yung change. Change, di ba? No, so, we have a uh, beginning balance of 4,275,000 debit plus na ending balance ka ng 10,882,750. So, may change na 15,000,000 na no So, dapat yung change mo so, dapat yung change in cumulative trustee adjustment during the year or net increase na 15,093,750 plus the cumulative translation adjustment na debit balance last year no, should equal to the cumulative translation adjustment na na-compute natin kanina. This is actually, di ba? 10,818,750. Okay? Yeah. So, we can actually use the verification of the transition adjustment you know, for the direct method in uh, determining for the community translation adjustment uh, as of uh, 2013. Okay. And also, how much would be uh, the kasi pag percent mo, no, itong 15 million to this will present it in your statement of comprehensive income bilang um, the foreign exchange uh, transaction gain no? in translating this foreign financial statements. Kaya, kaya alam, yung cumulative balance niya is 10,818,750. Okay? But for the year, may gain tayo na 15,093,750. Okay, so we're done with the, ano, we're done with the um, current rate method. So, We'll use na the temporal method no, in uh, remeasuring our um, financial statements, our foreign currency financial statements. Okay? And we shall have that on the next video.